Hi warm farmer Luke here, and just doing a little bit of subsoiling. Uh, I thought I'd do a video on uh, the transmission in this tractor because I've done a short on it and stuff, so I thought I'd just do a bit of more of an in-depth video. So uh, I'm on my tractor. This is a 6170R. This is the only one with an auto power gearbox we got. The other one's got a normal gearbox in it. Uh, I've done a video on that, so I'm going to do a video on this. So let's have a look at how it works. So this is actually the gear stick. It's on a slider, you see, and I'll explain why it's on that in a minute. Right, to set the speed that we want the tractor to go, we wind this little winder. So this will be the maximum speed that the tractor will travel. And it's showing here on the dash, so you can see when I turn it, it goes up or down. Right, so, so normally I leave it in one. So you've got two separate gears of this. So you've got one, which we set the maximum on there again, and then two. So if I'm at one, and that's 6K, and I hit a tough bit, all I have to do is just pull it back, and then the tractor will slow up. Then when I go through it again, push it back to one, it'll go back to the speed. Now, if we run through a little bit of an easy bit to, to run through, my second maximum speed, which is set at about eight, I can then move that forward to 8K, and then bring it back to the original position. I just keep it in the middle, so then I've got a maximum and then a minimum speed that I can use throughout the range. range. Need to come to a stop by any uh, for anything at all for any reason we just simply press the brakes and then release and off we go no need to clutch it's a completely clutchless system because uh, this gearbox is actually really 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 good at doing precision jobs so this will creep along to meters per hour which is good when we get tail land ready and for the veg boys as well when they're harvesting and planting and also it's very good for us when we're potato harvesting so potatoes go up the web and they vary so we have to slow or speed up depending on how the potatoes are going up the web or the just up the harvester sorry I used a bit of slang there so yeah that is the variable gearbox explained hopefully now I would say how it's actually mechanically done but I'm not 100% sure it's something to do with hydraulic pressure and plates and stuff and that's just all that kind of witchcraft which my brother knows a lot more than uh, I do about so I hope that was informative about the gearbox I know it's a little bit bit of a strange one but uh, yeah so any likes comments subscribe you know the drill uh, leave us a message la 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 follow us on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok as well I do some um, TikToks about this kind of stuff as well so it's shortened down in 30 seconds Cool, I'll see you again next time.